Wow! <laughs> that was extremely lucky. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mike. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. And today we are going to talk about FPV and this is actually the first episode of my new series called Learning FPV. This series is going to follow my journey as I try to learn flying FPV quadcopters. And it's something that I'm planning to upload maybe once every month. Uh, it's not going to be something that it's going to be just two or three episodes. I I suppose it's going to take a lot longer than that because there's so much to learn about FPV uh, but it's a long process that I'm willing to share with you guys and hopefully you will enjoy watching it uh, and you will learn something from my mistakes as well. So in the first episode of learning FPV I'll show you what simulator I'm using, what controller I'm using with that simulator as well as some footage of me just practicing flying FPV. I've only used the simulator for about three hours in total so far. So I know I'm still very, very early in my stages of learning FPV, but uh, I am enjoying this process and I just want to share it with you. So hopefully you will enjoy watching it. First things first, let's start with the controller. This is my controller. This is the Flysky i6S. And this is a pretty basic controller, but it's uh, one of the best uh, recommended controllers for starting out with FPV. The simulator that I'm using is called Liftoff. It's about $20 on uh, Steam and it's available both on Mac and Windows. The simulator itself is pretty realistic in my opinion. Uh, the flying of the drone seems quite natural to me and you have a large selection of different FPV drones that you can use and they have different um, performance so if you want to upgrade your drone uh, it's very easy to do that if you have different tracks you can set up races you can just uh, fly freely which i do a lot of the times and you can practice you have a lot of tutorials as well so if you want to start with that it's uh, it's a nice thing to to start watching the tutorials first and learn the basics and then you can start experimenting you can start flying and it's uh, honestly a lot of fun me personally, I don't want to fly in um, level mode or any other helping modes. I fly only in acro mode because I think that's the best way to learn by crashing a lot, but also by uh, starting off right with the hardest uh, setting available. So I think this is going to take a little bit more time for me, but it's also going to pay off in the end. So that's what I'm planning to do. And with that being said, I think it's time to stop talking and start flying and just show you what I do in the simulator. All right, everything is good to go. I just connected my controller. Now I'm going to turn it on. And we can start lift off. And now if we go to single player, we have a section with tutorials. We have quick play, free flight, race and freestyle. So I'm going to just set up free flight. And as you can see, it says no rules, no stress. That's the main thing when you want to learn, you don't have to be stressed. And here we have different tracks that we can choose from. There are quite a lot of different ones. Uh, and what I like to do is start off with, where is it? This one, Autumn Fields. Um, and select no track. Because I want to fly freely, I don't want to fly uh, in a certain area. I just want to uh, do whatever I want to warm up. I use the Vortex Pro 250 Oh My God Edition. And I'm also using uh, pinching to fly because I, I think it gives you more control. It's weird because I never fly like this with my DJI drones, but here in FPV, I think this makes the most sense. So now uh, we are ready to take off. Uh, and I'm just going to quickly warm up here. As you can see, I haven't touched the remote in quite a lot of time, so I'm quite rusty, I guess, but 
I'll just do that for a couple of minutes until I um, am a bit more warmed up and then we'll move up to something else. All right, now it's time to uh, go and select level selection and then I'll just use the same settings but I will um, go and select this track which is Dubai Legends or not actually, my bad. It's... Yeah, this one, Bando City. I just selected a new track and uh, I love this one and I really uh, love doing a certain thing which I will try to do now as well. And that is to make laps here because when you fly freely, there is only a couple of things you can do. There are no, like when you fly in the forest, you can fly between the trees and stuff like that. But when you have a city and there is a little bit of um, something like a track here, when you fly here, you can actually use that to um, to make some laps and uh, follow a certain path and I think that really helps to uh, get better at controlling the quadcopter so I am trying to make this full uh, lap without crashing of course and I'm just going to keep it slow for now so I'll try to oh. try to control the drone but it's it's a bit difficult to talk and uh, and fly at the same time as you can see I'm not very stable I don't have the perfect control over where the drone is going but uh, so far so good I haven't crashed not even once the turn here is a bit weird but okay we did it and we can continue with our second lap my goal is to make three laps without crashing uh, and if I do that, I can go to, uh, let's say, another track and try something else. It's just a little nice... Uh, uh, it's a nice exercise to control the drone within a certain um, track and within, within the limits of the track without crashing. As you can see, I'm flying sideways a bit and I don't like that. Oh, I touched the ground, but I didn't crash. You see what I mean? It's it's a bit difficult to to make a perfect turn, but I think I have practiced on this track for more than 30 minutes, uh, just doing exactly this, and it really helps to to know when you need to turn, where you want to go, and stuff like that. So if if it's a brand new place where you haven't flown before it's a bit more tricky but yeah so far so good I, I think I haven't crashed yet so now we are starting what is it lap number three if I make this turn wow that was actually smooth no 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 and I didn't make it <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see what I mean. And sometimes it's I don't have that control over the drone. I have the rough control where I want it to go, but I don't have. And here we go again. Sometimes you, I just don't know what to press, uh, and I think that requires the most amount of time to get used to to controlling it and it's sometimes it's just too quick all right we did that and now I will try to to make a good turn it doesn't look good so far Definitely not very good, not very smooth at all, but we are still here. When you fly with this pinching style, uh, when you control the drone by pinching, it's actually a lot easier to control it. And uh, I've always thought it's very gimmicky and it looks funny but uh, I see why people fly like this it really gives you so much more control um, with your thumbs and with actually with all of your fingers 
you can control the drone a lot better and I think this is how I will keep flying my FPV drone when I get it eventually and here things start to go sideways a bit and I don't like that I don't have that full control that I want to have but I guess it's too early to ask for that and I almost crashed but I didn't You don't really need to go that quick over those uh, turns. No need to to try to be a, a racer until you have more control over the drone. I almost crashed once again. But those laps are a very good way to to follow a specific path and just try to be as smooth as possible. It might be a bit boring to watch for you guys, but trust me, if you want to learn controlling the drone, making the same maneuvers over and over again is what helps you the most, just to, to learn how to use the drone properly. And excuse me, if I keep saying the drone, I know some people get offended by calling FPV quadcopters drones, but I can't help it sometimes. Whoa, that was close. All right, I think I will change the track to something else. Again, free flight using the same drone, select the track none and environment I'm going to just go to what what was it there was one is, yeah this one hangar c03 i love this one because you have so many obstacles and it's not easy to fly here but it's also a great fun and i'll be crashing a lot i guess but it's entertaining i hope so you start up from the hangar which is inside and then you immediately need to raise the drone or just fly through the hangar itself but um, now we can go under these containers or not let's try again I'll try to fly through the hangar now and then go up and just make a little turn all right it's really beautiful as well nice graphics here wow that was pure luck okay now i'll try to dive into the the crane here the crane is it a crane wow <laughs> That was extremely lucky, I guess. Let me out, let me out. Okay. You see what I mean? This track is definitely not for a beginner like me, but it's, it's fun to try it out at least. And maybe I can just make a couple of smooth circles here around the area, just show it off and show you what the track oh 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 that was close so what i like doing is just fly um, around different tracks and see what each track has to offer because as you can see every track is very very different and um, you have different obstacles different options for flying your quad through different objects or just flying in a different style different manner and I think when you want to learn the best way to learn is just by experimenting with different options different maneuvers um, and just trying it out trying everything out basically so you learn what to do what not to do this is actually pretty good right now I feel good right now when I am able to, to make the drone go where I want it to go. 
gives you so much enjoyment to know that the drone is performing where you what you want or not <laughs> yeah but um, even though I'm crashing a lot I'm also learning a lot every single time when I turn on this simulator so it really is an enjoying thing to to do and it's something that I just plan to do for a long time before I get to the real thing because I don't want to uh, just waste so much money I see how many times I crash now and I can only imagine how things will be if I just go and purchase a FPV quad that is uh, ready to fly and I mount my Osmo Action maybe if I do that I just break it first time I try so I, I won't even bother uh, getting one until I am perfectly capable of knowing that the drone is uh, going to the exact place where I want it to go and if you don't want to fly near obstacles it's actually pretty easy to control the drone if you just want to make let's say manual orbits it's one of my favorite things to do just fly slowly and smoothly around an, a certain object and I love that but um, if you of course try to incorporate some more action shots something that requires a, li a little bit more precision then uh, it gets more and more complicated of course but sometimes I feel proud of myself I don't know about you what do you think but for just three hours of flying this simulator I feel like uh, I've learned quite a lot so yeah it's it's a lot of fun I think everyone who has a uh, interest of flying drones should give a simulator a go just to see maybe it's something that is not for you but maybe it's something that is actually exactly for you so you never really know until you try it out so maybe lift off could be a good solution for you I don't know check it out if you want and no I'm not going through that and if you do let me know what you think and how are you performing in that simulator I'm actually starting to really enjoy now and the more you fly the more confident you feel of course with controlling the drone as you can see the first minutes of me flying here were just disaster and now it's actually a lot easier to to control everything and to to make the drone go where you want it to go and uh, let's just not get super optimistic because I know I still suck but It's pretty good actually. But I'm sure you can see that I'm a lot more confident now than in the first couple of minutes. It just takes some time to, to warm up. Let's see if I can go through here. No. Yeah, I'm getting a bit too cocky as well. So sorry about that. As you can see, you should never just try to, to do impossible maneuvers for your skill level. You should always remember your skill level is not that impressive yet. So, But of course, if you don't try, you can never, never learn as well. So as long as it's in the simulator, you're not risking anything. Maybe it's a good idea to, to be cocky sometimes and just try to make impossible maneuvers which I'm definitely not willing to try in a real world <laughs> scenario it's a little bit like drifting in the air like car drifting but in the air it's so much fun oh 
Okay, let's try again between those two. Yes, we did it now. It wasn't beautiful, but we did it. And with that, I think this is a perfect ending of our simulator. And there you guys have it. This has been the first episode of Learning FPV. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I know I am far from being good, but uh, I'm, I'm going to learn, I promise you that. And I'm really willing to, to learn, to show you everything that I learned in the process and share it with you. Uh, and hopefully you will enjoy following this progress. Like I said, I'm going to upload um, these episodes, maybe one every single month. Um, and I'm not going to stick to a certain uh, schedule, but I will upload every time I have some specific news regarding my FPV journey. So with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Drop a like to show some support. This is Mike from Drone Supremacy. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.